Today, I will be discussing my week three back home after getting plastic surgery in Tijuana, Mexico, where I had skin removed after losing over 200 pounds. And I also got the girls to, woo. <laughs> so if you'd like to hear it, here it go. Girl, a mess, y'all. Hi, guys. Oh, welcome to my channel if you are new, and welcome back if you've been around here a while. I'm Kendra. This is Kind Kendra Creates. This is my space where I share my life with you guys. I also talk about wild and crazy things on the internet. So if that stuff sounds good to you, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Also, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up while you are at it. I would appreciate your support. Okay, guys. So this is week three. Okay, week three. If you have not checked out my other weeks, you can access everything in my beautiful plastic surgery playlist. There I have everything you need to know about the plastic surgeries, my plastic surgery vlog, and also my weeks one and week two. And now we are on three week three after surgery, com coming home, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, guys. So I didn't have a lot to report to you guys this week. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about was dun 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 wound openings. <laughs> so I talked about in week one um, the wound, the T incision, and how that was opening a little bit, and I was totally freaked out about it. It had closed up, no big deal. I wasn't. I was like, "Cool, yes." And then in week two, I talked about the openings where I had my. Um, sutures in place on the left side on the right side and then also in front i was getting a little bit of wound openings there but nothing big okay and now i am getting more wound openings on my breasts they are right under each nipple okay because there is an incision line that goes straight up and down right and then you have your um nipple here and then so your wound will be right under the nipple right where it meets that incision line and y'all these are freaking big okay so it's really scary when you are going through it okay and um i am so fortunate to have found the wound care group on facebook i'm gonna link it below okay if you guys need that, they're going to also be other links to other things that you may need on your plastic surgery journey to other groups and, and all kind of resources. So see below if you need that. Okay. Um, there's actually a registered nurse in that group that does help out with some people. Um, and she's excellent for helping people out but also you can just kind of search through and you can kind of start to see like when you should be freaked out about something so the main things that you need to be freaked out about are redness redness can denote some type of infection okay you need to be worried about redness you also need to Semi sort of someone be worried about swelling, everything swells, so mm, you can take that part with a grain of salt. You need to be worried about the smell though. So, if it has a little smell to it, an odor to it, that also can denote an infection. And infections are bad, okay? We don't know what the infection could possibly be caused by, so it is best to go and get that checked out. They will take a culture. And they will test it and they will see what's causing that infection. They'll give you some antibiotics and hopefully they can get that all cleaned out and whatever they decide, whether it is to, um, you know, pack it and dress it or suture it back up or however they decide to fix that wound there. And then another thing is the color you need to be concerned about. If it is black, that can denote necrosis and necrosis is dying tissue and you should be scared about that 
definitely because you could lose in my case your breast okay and i don't want that to happen because i've lived long enough without having any breasts okay so those are the top things that you need to be concerned about when you have a wound okay and how to care for your wound and this is just general advice this is not medical advice i am not a doctor i am not a nurse i am not any kind of medical professional but this is just what i've learned throughout my course of being online and i don't know how accurate everything is online of course but you know it is what it is <laughs> let's just say i listen to anecdotal evidence okay okay you want to keep it clean okay you want to have something on there for bacteria um i've been using bacitracin um you can use like an iodine type solution um, and then you have to cover it with some type of gauze, some type of clean bandage or dressing or something like that. So that's mainly how you care for it. You can step up the care, like I talked about in week two, as far as um, using Meta Honey. That's going to help to close that wound and to also keep it clean. And then the uh, Silver Adjunate Dressing. That's also going to help speed up the recovery of those open wounds. So that's pretty much what I am doing for the openings on my breasts. Does it freak me out? Yes. Am I concerned? Yes. Am I scared? Yes. Am I worried? Yes. I'm not going to pretend like everything is all good because everything is not all good because I'm just like, what if this don't close? What if this get infected? What if I lose my breast? Like, yeah, you tend to think about worst case scenario. Hopefully none of those things happen, but of course I will keep you up to date with everything and you will know. And I want to give my real true experience because people need to know that it's not all sunshines, rainbows, and butterflies when you get plastic surgery, okay? You could possibly have complications and um issues with wound healing and all of that kind of stuff that's considered a complication it's not something serious most people think complication or they think of blood clot or they think of like a uh, death you know but there are other things that can arise that are not that serious to like hospitalize you you know mm -hmm. so that's the biggest thing that's happened this week everything else has been moving right on along um unfortunately i was not able to get out my left drain it is still draining um yeah it's it's still draining it's been it's been four weeks and it's still draining like i don't know what the end in sight looks like um but hopefully I can get it out soon. Um, I'm doing between 100 to 150 cc a day. So yeah, it's supposed to be at 25. And I'm just so scared that if I remove it, the fluid is going to, you know, it's not going to have anywhere to go. And I'm going to wind up getting a seroma and then I'm going to have to get the seroma drained. So new fear unlocked. Yeah. Plastic surgery is a B. Okay. I just want to let you guys know that it's a B. So it's going to get worse before it gets better. So that's all the bad things that have been happening this week. But the good thing is I've started walking. Like not fast paced, not intense, not going to the gym, but just taking smooth, easy little strolls to get out to do something and to move these legs of mine. I made the mistake of getting on the scale. Probably shouldn't have done that because I'm swollen and I've gained weight. And I also have not been on my GLP ones, y'all. I'm waiting until I kind of like heal up more before I can begin taking that. And they also have been known to help with inflammation. So maybe they can help with some of this swelling once I get back on them. But I'll let you know when I start those again. And I'll let you guys know when I start going to the gym again. And I'll let you guys know everything about, you know, everything. I'm going to let you guys know everything. Nothing is going to be like a secret or hidden or, you know, you have to guess about anything. And of course, comment below if you have any questions, anything that you want to talk about. 
in regard to plastic surgery. I'm willing to help if I can. Um, but yeah, I've started walking and I don't really have anything to say about it. It's good to get out of the house. It's good to, to go on walks. They say, you know, you got to move around, you know, to get the blood flowing and everything. I'm ready to just honestly, I mean, I'm not ready for it, like physically, but like mentally, like I'm ready to like get back in the gym, <laughs> like seriously, because I feel like I'm ready to kind of start my fitness journey. Y'all know me. And then before you know it, I'll be ready to talk about, oh, my second round of plastic surgery, because I got to get my whole entire body done, y'all. These arms, they didn't make the first cut. And I hate my arms. I hate them so much. But I got boobs now. <laughs> y'all are going to get tired of me talking about my boobs. Like, y'all just don't know. I didn't have any. And now I have them. And they just look so great. I feel like they're not too big. They're not too small. Like, I'm so happy with that. And I cannot wait until my swelling goes down. And I get this other drain out and I can just get back into the groove of my routine um, and hopefully be all healed up and no additional complications. That is what I am hoping for. So yeah, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. This week has been scary. <laughs> But I am here alive to tell it to you guys. And for that, I can be honestly so grateful for. So, yeah. I appreciate you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. Make sure you continue to spread kindness in a world full of hate. Bye-bye.